the Purdue Diagnostic Lab accepts plant and insect samples from any, all over the state and is, we also have permits to allow receiving samples from the 48 continental U.S. states. We get a very wide range of samples from field crops to turf to ornamentals, fruit, nuts, nut crops, anything like that that may be growing in the state, as well as samples from across the country that, may, that come to us. We had more than 300 samples last year from outside the state of Indiana. We do have a very broad range of stakeholders, all the way from a federal agency right down to the homeowner can access our services. Uh, we may be interacting with USDA when we find a new disease problem as we did in 2015 when corn tar spot was first found in the US. It was our lab that identified that. We are one of the first lines of defense in helping identify new problems and make regulatory agencies and the public aware of them. We get a lot of samples from uh, farmers and from crop consultants across the state. We also work with uh, regulatory agencies like the USDA and with the Indiana Department of Natural Resources, the Indiana Crop Improvement Association, as well as the Office of the Indiana State Chemist, which helps, uh, which we work with to help identify herbicide injury problems in official investigations that they're undertaking. Not only do we identify new problems like corn tar spot, but we identify a lot of everyday things on samples for people to help them better select what kind of control methods they need to use. It may be as simple as adjusting some cultural practice and avoiding pesticide use altogether, but it may be that uh, someone needs to apply a fungicide to control a specific disease problem and allowing the grower to select the correct fungicide and know the correct way to apply it is a very important aspect of what we do here in providing information. We really enjoy working with a broad range of things. The things that I personally enjoy working with primarily are ornamentals. So we may be working with a disease on something like uh, this plant called Rattlesnake Master where we found a smut disease last year and we're continuing to work on that kind of, on that problem. Uh, we may be working with something like a tree problem. This is Dutch elm disease that people don't usually see this problem very often anymore because most of the elm trees have died. But we still get samples of Dutch elm coming in from uh, a arborist in Massachusetts that sends samples to us uh, for managing the trees that he's responsible for, the, the old American elms that they're still maintaining. And another service that we provide is sort of connecting people to the right kind of connection on campus because many people don't know what department or what resource they need to work with at Purdue and we're sort of a uh, clearinghouse for stakeholders to come to the university and we can help redirect them to the right uh, department that they may, may need to contact for further help or more information.